Hello everyone, I'm so happy to see you again. I hope you are on a good health. And happy Ramadan month for all Muslims in the world. Today, I want to talk about Ramadan month and diabetes. At the first, let's see what's fasting in the medical language. Fasting is a selfish phenomenon with the intention of worshipping for a certain period of time in which blood pressure decreases slightly and with a little dryness and with low drop sugar level in the blood. Let's see if someone with diabetes can fast and how. At the first, I want to talk about the benefits of fasting on the diabetes. First of all, controlling the amount of sugar in the blood and second, controlling the blood pressure and also control and decrease the amount of fat in the blood and also body weight loss about 3 kg so I think it's a good find for a fat person someone with diabetes can fast and how? for answer this question there are many points you have to care about first patient's health the patients must be in a good health patients who are tired are better not fasting second point is organizing both food and medicine while fasting and another point is a patient should be able to do his work completely. If not, is better not fasting. If one of these signs appear, you have to not fasting anymore. Continuous nausea and constipation, and also drying up and being too thirsty, and also exhaustion and headache, a lot of sweating and faint. If you have another disease except diabetes, like severe hypertension, kidney disease, liver disease, heart disease. So it's better not to be fasting. Another point is women should not be breastfeeding or pregnant. Another point is patients who are receiving insulin injection for controlling their diabetes are better not fasting. Ramadan is the gold opportunity for patients who don't receive any medicine for controlling their diabetes. But those who receive pills for controlling their diabetes should go to the doctor for organizing pill meals for them. Generally, you have to test your blood sugar before suhoor and after break your fasting. If your blood sugar level is less than 60, so you don't have to fasting anymore. And if your blood sugar more than 400, again, you don't have to fasting anymore. There's an important point. It's better one week or two weeks before Ramadan, start not drinking tea, coffee, and not smoking.